Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. Today's film will be a deeper look at the Cavalon accident rate, which I mentioned earlier this week. So let me qualify my view. The Autogyro Cavalon is arguably the pick of side-by-side -side gyroplanes. It is well equipped, performs well, with the latest versions offering flight at speeds of up to 120 miles an hour. And with the aircraft now being sold fully built in the USA, it is proving a popular purchase. Using an FAA registry search and the model name Cavalon, I see around 65 aircraft. The table shows 51 entries, but some have multiple aircraft assigned while some zero, and I got 65 from the search I did at the time. I can also see 15 accidents with Cavalon in the USA, again from a gyroplane accident reference. And if anything, that number is likely to be light, because not all accidents get reported. So, 15 accidents and 65 aircraft gives a rate of 23%. The only caveat that skews this is that two airframes have had multiple accidents, but still, the rate seems high. And people are asking, what's wrong with Cavalon to make the accident rate this bad? And the answer is, as usual, it's less about the aircraft and more about the people. The Cavalon does have some characteristics that make it interesting for new or low time pilots to get on top of and I've covered them in prior films if you want to see a wider view. For example, one snag is the wide variety of instrument avionic fit that fundamentally changes the layout of the dashboard. We are watching a clip from Sun and Fun 2019, an Auto Gyro USA CFI Bob Schneider. While we watch, you tell me where the rotor taco is. However, the US market does create some further snags because fundamentally, the market is not widely experienced with the model, and that reflects not only if training is conducted, but how. Oh, and by the way, the rotor taco is within the Garmin, but that's why differences training is so important, but you don't have that as a requirement in the US. It sounds so simple, but here's another day and another Cavalon, only this time the layout is completely different. And when a general view is being pushed that you can learn to fly one of these things within 10 to 15 hours, it has consequences, especially when the fundamentals can be so different. And people don't seem to want to take their time. Sadly, you'll remember that one of the senior US personnel of Autogyro died in a fatal Cavalon accident whilst doing a sales demo with just six hours on the aircraft. The US market is being pushed and part of that process is to extol the ability of the aircraft to take off and land in a short space, while also suggesting that wind makes little difference. Combine that with the earlier view that you need little time to learn to fly one. Combine that with the fact that many of the instructors are not particularly experienced on the aircraft, and you lead to the situation that we have. People getting snagged. I'm going to leave you with Bob Schneider telling us how easy it all is. In the meantime, fly safely and stay safe by subscribing to this channel. Better still, see me on Saturday for our landings webinar. Over to Bob. Today, we've got uh, wind blowing at about uh, 20, 25 knots. It will roll maybe about 10 feet before it's airborne. And landing, it will not roll at all. So, that's the short uh, takeoff and landing characteristics of the aircraft. Now on a day where the wind is not blowing, it's about 300 feet with wheels on the ground to take off and about 25 feet wheels on the ground to land. Wind is your friend with a gyroplane, yes. In fact, uh, today is actually a perfect day for flying a gyro and you will see not very many light sport fixed wing aircraft are flying today and obviously not any of the power chutes or, or wings. This aircraft is equipped with a Rotax 914, that's the turbocharged version. Uh, it is available with the 912 100 horsepower and the 915 uh, new IS engine. Well you're getting horsepower gain so you're going to get um, a greater thrill on takeoff performance and climb. The climb rate will um, exceed 1,200 feet per minute, even on a, with a heavily loaded aircraft. It uh, 
it's kind of like getting the uh, the big engine in your sports car. So um, this aircraft uh, to uh, to fly it, the minimum would be a sport pilot license. And Sport Pilot is available in the gyroplane class. You can get gyroplane private, gyroplane commercial, and of course, uh, flight instructor.